Hi everybody, I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. This is just going to be some of my thoughts this weekend. I'm, this has nothing to do with food, really, or it can be applied to food. I think this can be applied to life. Um, I was reading a little bit by the pool yesterday afternoon and the, yesterday evening, and I continued reading a little bit last night, um, right before I was starting to get ready to go to sleep. Then I woke up and was kind of refreshing myself with this. This is a little book a friend of recommended to me. It's called Outrageous Openness. Uh, I would recommend checking it out. Now this little reading today, and I'll tell you after I read it, it's a, it kind of resonates with me. But it's, I guess it can be applied to a bunch of different uh, areas in life. And also too, you don't get caught up. It can be taken. It can be taken kind of as a story, a parable. Whether you're into, whether you believe in God, the lining up with the universe, or just the, the natural order of things. You know, I'm reading a lot these days about how we align with the natural way the universe operates and vibrates. But anyway, it just kind of resonated with me. And even though this chapter is called the Death Advisor, it's kind of applied to different type, a different type of way to me. I'll tell you why at the end why it kind of resonates with me. First, it starts off with a couple of quotes. When you make yourself into zero, you become invincible. That was by Mahatma Gandhi. And Carlos Castaneda says, let death be your advisor. I once heard this story about a friend's sister. A 40-ish woman named Paula lived in Baltimore as a paralegal, busy with relationships, work, family, typical stuff. She was not in the least spiritually inclined. Then came the shocker. Though she had never had more than a cold, Paula was suddenly diagnosed with a rapidly advancing form of lymphoma and given three months to live. Her world imploded. Practical by nature, she immediately threw her energy into organizing her affairs, handling her imminent departure like one more of the efficient to-do list that she'd spent her life making. To her amazement, she was not afraid. Paula paid off her debts, released everything unnecessary, and prepared to die. This world became a diaphanous dream. She ceased having useless conversations. She started telling everyone the truth. She stopped doing anything she didn't want, following her inner clock completely. As she realized this world would go on quite well without her, a peaceful detachment embraced her like a warm bath. Then a new twist. In the third month, the, doctor sp uh, the cancer spontaneously left. To the doctor's confusion, all symptoms vanished as fast as they had come. But Paula's calm equanimity remained. Even more surprising, she had acquired the power to manifest and heal almost anything. If she thought of a certain amount of money, it came almost effortlessly. If she imagined an apple, a stranger pulled one from a bag. People with illnesses began to call for help. This talent came of its own volition, since Paula needed and wanted nothing, having already bid adieu to this world. With no grasping ego, most of her thoughts materialized in a flash. The same divinity she had once dismissed now flowed un unimpeded through her being. Paula said, maybe when you no longer need anything, you can have everything. And when you stop trying to make things happen, anything can. All I know is the me that used to be is gone. I'm out of the way. Now the reason, I'll tell you here, the reason that resonated with me, and I've never read this anything, somehow this phrase got into my head about three or four years ago. And I think there's, I've been progressing and moving towards that eventuality of, um, for, for that whole time. And that thought is, to gain the ultimate, you have to be willing to give up everything. That's just been kind of a philosophy of mine. It's something that, you know, it's like, but it's been out there. I'm not close to it, um, you know. And now I see myself starting to kind of, you know, get closer down the path with some of the work that I'm doing. Um, and... You know, I told you three months ago I was going in or inward, and I've been doing more. You know, more than just the the more than just the food and the and the physical. You know, I'm just always exploring with different things, and um, I just believe it kind of goes back to something similar I said in one of the one of the videos yesterday, the day before, or whatever. When you stop trying, thing when you stop trying so hard, things can happen. When you accept how everything is and how everything's going to be, and when you're okay with every possible outcome that can happen and you just do your best and put it in the hands of the universe the best things happen anyhow just a rambling weekend video um, I hope you guys like this one I will, I'll try to keep these to a minimum and get back to the food and health anyhow y'all have a lovely weekend and I love you all peace